artists often become our historians. After the pandemic forced the USF Contemporary Art Museum to cancel a big exhibit it was about to have, it went virtual and shifted the focus. Life during wartime, art in the age of the coronavirus. It aims to bring out emotion and spark conversations about the state of our planet in the midst of a global emergency. 10 Tampa Bay photojournalist Jeannie Yeagle takes us behind the digital canvas. For life during wartime, what we're really looking to do is to get almost a global sample of the way artists are thinking through this pandemic. My name is Angel Otero. I'm an artist. I live in uh, Brooklyn, New York. So this is actually a, a, a picture of the, the tub painting. So you can see a feeling of, you know, obviously the palette is definitely a very joyful palette. But at the same time, you can see the, the element of the chair inside the tub, the plants growing. There is a feeling of emptiness, isolation, distance. So I just felt that definitely carry a relationship to how we're feeling. This is not the first time that artists have worked through a pandemic. The last one was the uh, Spanish flu of 1918, and there were a number of responses to that. Edward Munch actually painted a self-portrait before and after having contracted the Spanish flu. My name is Anastasia Samoylova. I live in Miami. I'm an artist and photographer. The images um, that will be in the exhibition are two fairly straightforward depictions of flooding that happened in Miami Beach. I've been reflecting on the idea of sort of global collective action that needs to take place. And with virus, we're getting sort of a preview of what needs to happen on a global scale. I think what people sort of ultimately will remember are the images that somehow or other serve as synecdotes, as summaries for this period. Maybe some of those will come out of the show, but what will come out of the show is a conversation between artists and the public, and that is the very definition of culture.